I was so wrong about this series. I was so wrong about COG. All I can do is just give props to COG. And I still hate COG, but I gotta give props to COG. Because they proved me wrong every single step of the way. I will never be wrong again. I'm telling you people, I will never be wrong again. And to prove that, you should subscribe to the video so you can see me be right on every single match that I make a prediction on. You should also like the video, just because why not? I'm a nice person to like. Anyway, let's get on into what exactly I was wrong about. So, as you all know, unless you were just like sleeping under a bridge forever, COG beat TSM in the spring split and ALCS finals. Shocking, I know. I'm, I'm shocked too. I didn't even think they beat Team Liquid, but they stopped Team Liquid. Also, in other news, Team Liquid also lost the third place match. So, Team Liquid went from getting third two splits in a row back down to fourth. Hopefully, they can like get second or something at least, but that doesn't matter. We're talking about COG versus TSM. No, this was a series of storylines and there was a series of of hard play, team fights, bloody fights, you name it, this game had it in it. Now, the story was made even before the split even happened. So good, if somebody came in my room and told me right now, and they'll see us as fake, I'd be like, I believe you, because from the very beginning, even before the season happened, COG thought that they would be the best team in NA because they had the most synergy and they thought they were just the best team. They didn't think that they necessarily had the best individual players, but they thought they had the best team. TSM and the world thought that TSM would win the NALCS because they were just a team of superstars. It was like Froggen's European super team, but with NA, and uh, it was Bjergsen instead of Froggen. So everyone thought that TSM would be the juggernaut. Now, TSM struggled, and everyone said they were bad. COG didn't necessarily struggle, but everybody still said they were bad. Because they just didn't have any stars on their team except for Aphromoo, but he's a support. And no one cares about supports. But as you, as this, the season just went on and on, it became obvious that the synergy of CLG will be able to take them places. Well, it didn't become obvious until CLG actually won this finals, but. The story gone, went on to say that COG would win because of their synergy and that even though TSM had begun building their synergy together, their individual talent wouldn't be enough to carry them into MSI. Uh, yeah, I still don't know how it happened because even, in my opinion, even looking at the games, it just seemed as though TSM were outplaying COG. When they won, they had the most definitive wins. When COG won, they had to claw, scratch, and bite for those wins. Even when they were running TSM around the map with their superior macro play, and of course, that's a filler word. I say macro, but like it's just because there's so much that they were doing. There's so much that goes over my head, and there's just so much that I don't feel like explaining. And I wouldn't probably wouldn't be able to explain it properly. But because of their superior macro play, even with their superior macro play, I mean, COG still had to claw and uh, scratch and bite to win those games. And that's partially because of the comps that each team had. Caitlyn 
And TSM picked up Caitlyn. She's able to set up for objective so well that she can either save an objective from being taken when it should be taken, or she can set up an objective to be taken when you would otherwise have no way to take it. So their comps were just super annoying for objectives. And that kind of helped TSM out in a way. And also, because TSM were so good at team fights, they were able to win team fights or go even in team fights when they were down 10 gold, 5 gold, however much they were down, TSM would still be able to either win team fights or come even in team fights. It was just a super entertaining series, a super close series in which COG won. Because what it all comes down to, as we saw in game one, you can win all the team fights you win. As long as your Nexus doesn't have help health, you're going to lose. And in game one, COG almost got aced. But because TSM had no more tur no more turrets. And there was a mob of super minions coming into the base of TSM. They lost because their Nexus had no more health, and that's that's what it comes down to. Now, can COG perform an international play? That's what we'll be looking to next. Will COG be able to perform an international play? Personally, I don't think they can. But, I also didn't think that COG could beat Team Liquid and TSM. And because COG has proven me wrong so often, and they've done well when I picked against them, I'm going to keep picking against them in hopes that it, uh, it means that they're going to win MSI. I'm going to keep picking against them. So what I said in the beginning of the video, I guess you'll have to subscribe and follow me as I follow CLG and see how well they can do at MSI. This is King Dub the Seventh signing off. This is just my opinion. Peace.